Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to Save Sex, Not Safe Sex. Come on now. We're not playing a safe. We're not doing that. We're saving it. So just as this um this video was called Single and Moving On. I just posted a short video, one of my shorts, onto um onto YouTube. Save Sex, Not Safe Sex YouTube channel. And if you're new here, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I just posted a short video and it was talking about singleness and moving. So this one is called Singleness, Single and Moving On. And, you know, it can go both ways, whether you are single and you're moving on from a past relationship or like me, single and moving on to a new home. So, as you can see, I am in the midst of packing. Uh, I just left mostly like some of my clothes that um, I'm still currently wearing. My uniforms, jackets, and still some hangers here that I have to put up. So, uh, still some shoes I have to, you know, um, pack up. So, like I said, if you are currently, um, if you were dating recently, um, and either you're going through a breakup, you're single and moving on from a breakup, or you're single and like me moving to another place. Well, when God tells you to move, he blesses you, right? I remember talking about this here recently, not too long ago, that when God blesses you, it's time for you to move. When God blesses you, it's time for you to, um, uh, you know, you have to move around. Something has to leave you. Something has to go when God blesses you. Right. And so hope y'all can hear me. OK, <laughs> again. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Anastasia. For those of you who don't know and for those of you who are new to the channel. Um, but yes, um, you know, when, when, like I was saying, when God blesses you, something has to be removed from your life. Right. Something has to go. Something has to move. And in this closet, you know, the, of course, the walls are bare right now. But these were all of my prayer requests and notes and quotes and things that you know basically kept me lifted and prayers and uh scriptures and for my family in my school season and you know uh going through all all the different seasons in the three years that we've been in this house right we lived in this house you know this whole wall was plastered from the roof to the very bottom of notes and scriptures and de devotion, right? To God, spending time with him and writing to him, journaling to him. And I'm reminded of the scripture in 1 Samuel 25 and 6. And it says, the new, um, new international version, say to him, long life to you, good health to you and your household and good health to all that is yours right i love the new living translation it says peace and prosperity to you and your family and everything that you own this is this is a greeting to us so whether you're moving on past a relationship whether you're moving on to a new place god wants to bless and prosper your health your wealth and anyone that is with you, anyone that is connected to you, all that you have, may peace be with you. Amen. So I just wanted to give this quick um, uh, video and just to encourage any ladies on here who are single and who are doing it on your own. And whether you are uh, a single woman, just as I am, if you're a single uh, parent with children, you're a single mother, and you are doing it, you are not giving up. You're not letting uh, the cares of this world get you down and you're not letting it tear you down and even though you get down but you allow God to pick you back up mend your heart back together and you keep walking you keep going you do not stop right so I mean these these things they you know it really did get me through some tough times it really did get me through some um some tough seasons in my life some storms in my life and you know uh, the tape is still on them <laughs> And, you know, with 
praying to God and spending time with him and, you know, just letting him know where my mind was. And I mean, he really did shift my mind and he really did heal, you know, my mind and, you know, to get it to where it is today and to encourage you ladies on whatever season you may be in, it may be similar to what I've, you know, been through. And that is where, that is what um, God wanted. You know, he allowed me to go through that season, you know, and it didn't break me. It didn't kill me. It made me stronger and wiser so I can get on here and also encourage you and strengthen you. You know, so I um, I hope that you're encouraged. I hope that you're blessed by it and know that, you know, um, you are God's. A cattle on a thousand hill belong to him. So if he considers even the birds in the air, he considers us more valuable than they. So we don't you know, have to worry or be dismayed or be discouraged, you know, because as long as we have his word planted in us and his Holy Spirit, we know we're going to be all right. We know that things are going to work out right. We know that he will never leave us nor forsake us, right? If we are, if we are deemed more valuable than the birds and the trees and the grass and they don't work, they don't toil, they don't have to do all that how, you know, we have to, they don't do that. But he made sure that they're fed. They fly around and they flock and they swoop down and get their food and go ahead on their nest, you know. So we, you know, he and he considers us more valuable than they, you know. So he, if he provided for them, you know, he's going to do it for us. Right. So if you're single and moving on, moving on to your next. Right. Don't be afraid. Do not live in fear. Do not let fear cripple you from moving on to your next, whether it's writing the book or starting the business or, you know, moving on uh, with your mind, you know, a new mind shift, new creation. Don't let fear cripple you in whatever season you're in. Embrace it. Lock it up because you are a locked garden, right? And let God take care of it. You guys be blessed. I love you. See you next time. You're a locked garden. Keep that in mind. Bye-bye.